Today on the Philly Tall Podcast, we got to go over this dynamic duo, and I'm not talking about Goku and Vegeta for all my DBZ fans out there. I'm talking about AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. But before we do that, let's run this clip of OTAs where we get our first look at DeAndre Swift in Eagles gear with the spin move. If you thought this offense was already hard to stop, it just got that much harder. And coincidentally, this is our highest paid running back. He's still going to get his in the two games versus the Giants. But it's good to see the guys in cleats on the field. You got Slay in a vest. I'm guessing it's weighted. Uh, you got Zach McPherson out there. Let's see what he does. Sidney Brown, rookie, competing for a starting safety position. And the guy who says, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. Free Blankenship got something to say. Greedy Williams, a young corner who's going to play if we need him to. You know, you got Keely Ringo as well. You got Jalen Hurts slinging a rock. A couple more DB drills. For as much as we talk about Ringo, Greedy Williams is a young player too. Top five tight end, Dallas Goddard. And let's not forget the Slim Reaper, Skinny Batman, Devontae Smith. So smooth. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today we got some things to talk about. Deshaun Jackson on I Am Athlete Podcast went over his top five wide receivers. We talk about that too. But before we get into it, help your boy out and hit that like button. Y'all be killing it, subscribing the bell. So you know when we go live, drop videos. Yesterday we were live with Clay Harbor. He had a lot of good stuff to say about the defense, the draftees, and all that. And he inquired about a Philly dog shirt. Y'all know how we do. But we also got some new stuff out, right? We got the Philly dog hat. It is live on the website. It went up last night. I got mine on order already. Philly dog. So listen, it kind of matches the green in the shirt. You want to rock the set for people who didn't get the shirt but like, like the hat? Because the hat, some people say, I love the Eagles. I love the design. But I'm not a fan of the red. I'm not a fan of the Georgia jerseys on these Philly dogs. Well, now you can get the Philly dogs with no red, with no Georgia stuff. And we got it Midnight Green. And we also got it in Kelly Green. And we also have snapbacks. Oh, this is a snapback. Dad caps, trucker caps. We have the other version hats too. But we got Kelly Green and Midnight Green live on the channel. Same with the Philly dog shirts. You got to scroll down because the Philly dog hat is new link will be in the description and it's pinned at the top of the comment section i don't even got mine yet it's on the way though now let's start with this and i do want to go over that clip again because it's good to see eagle players on the grass these are voluntary workouts but a lot of people are there because they really want to run it back listen i'm a big fan of dbz got my seven-year-old into it and this is what i think of right there was one duo that topped this duo, and that is Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill. But in 2023, I think we're going to be better. I think Hurts takes another huge step, and so do these two. Now, I was a Vegeta fan, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking Devontae Smith might even outdo A.J. Brown this year. We'll talk about it. But when you look at year one of A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, right, I tweeted this yesterday at 12.13. I'm eating my lunch at work, and I'm like, they're going to be so good. Who, who's another great duo? Oh, yeah, Goku and Vegeta. So I decided to make this happen, right? Or at least look it up, and Clutch Points had it. Uh, year one of A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, 183 combined receptions, 2,692 combined yards, 75 combined catches, over 20 yards, and 18 combined touchdowns. That's year one as a group, and with Jalen Hurts being the runner-up MVP, a second-team All-Pro, and you saw the jump from Jalen Hurts. Like I said, there's going to be another one. Dallas Goddard is talking him with these two goat wide receivers to get better. You add DeAndre Swift, which makes linebackers and safeties go, oh, where is he? 
oh, by the way, you got skinny Batman and swole Batman doing dangerous stuff in the middle of your defense, right? Smitty, route running, beast already. And A.J. Brown, again, he spoke about being more a complete receiver, but I've seen it. I've seen some nice routes from A.J. Brown. I see some contested catch. I've seen the over the shoulder. And if you give this man the ball on a slant, he's going to give you one of these and run for more yards. And for all the Smitty's too little, I've seen Smitty throw off a DB. I've seen him stiff arm. I've seen him run block. I've seen him catch the ball and get yards after the catch. Smitty is a complete receiver too. But if you put him on an island, he's going to have you in a spin cycle for sure. That's just who Devontae Smith is as a player. He'll have you on a spin cycle. Again, this offense averaged 30. You bring this guy in. And Miles Sanders is a great player. But when healthy, this guy has all the tools to be him and more because he gives you an element in the passing game that we didn't really have. We had it with Kenny G. He wasn't on the field the majority of the time. We didn't have it with Miles Sanders because he just wasn't the same. Look at these young DBs. They're working with guys like Slay and Bradbury. As much as we talk about, you know, Keely Ringo, Greedy Williams is there. Right? Zach McPherson was drafted by the Eagles. Now he got to compete with Keelan Ringo, Keely Ringo, and uh, Greedy Williams. These guys out there understand that this is more than just a regular football season. Teams are going to be gunning for you. They're going to be gunning for you. But N'Kobe Dean said it best. They think that they're hunting us, but we still feel like we need to go out there and hunt them. This is what I love about this team. There's so many people who, who do still have a chip on their shoulder. You're talking about first-round pick Jordan Davis. He knows he needs to be better. He needs to stay healthy. He actually was really good if you look at the film when he was on the field prior to that high ankle sprain, which for a big guy takes a while to get back. Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, all the Philly dogs got chips. Nolan Smith thought he should have been drafted higher than 30. Jalen Carter thought he should have been drafted higher than 10 or 9. Then you got the actual players on his team who got a chip on their shoulder. It's running back season for real. And barring any crazy stuff, knock on fake wood for, you know, the I word. I'm not even going to say it, put it in the atmosphere. This team has done so much. We're coming off a Super Bowl, you know. We have only one goal, and I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's listen to uh, Deshaun Jackson, because he speaks on his five... I don't even know if I want to play the clip, to be honest, because... Um, it is a YouTube thing, and I might get copyrighted for this. I put it on Twitter, but this might get me a copyright. I don't know. But Deshaun Jackson's top five receivers going into 2023, he got Devontae Adams as number one, Tyreek Hill as number two, Stephon Diggs as number three, Justin Jefferson as number four, and A.J. Brown at number five. I can't argue with this list. Uh, I would put Justin Jefferson higher than... Uh, he had him, but I can't argue, and it's Deshaun Jackson's list. He also talked about coming back with the Eagles to retire with the Eagles, but he said before retiring with the Eagles, he feels like he got one more good season in him. I like our receivers. I like Quez. I like Zakitas. Oz. Special teamer? But we know his health has been sheesh when he's with the Eagles. And I just think that when it's time for him to retire, let him sign a 10-day contract and retire. I don't think he got any more play left in him, especially for the Eagles, especially when you're trying to get back to the Super Bowl. Um, it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section pertaining to all this. I do want to give a huge shout-out. Like I said, uh, um, these are the new hats available. You got the Kelly Green Philly dog hat. You know, decided to make the Philly little in the middle, but it pops out because it's in white. Dogs, Kelly Green with the white outline. And then we also have the Midnight Green. Again, you can get it like this. In snapback form, trucker, and you can get the dad cap if for those dad caps out there. But again, this is the new one. It should be at the bottom of the screen. I think the first picture is the trucker hat, but once you click on it, you can... uh. You know, change it to uh, whatever snapback and whatever color you got. But it's at the bottom of the screen because they just got released. 
But if you don't got the Philly Dog shirt, join the culture. We got so many colors. Link for the hats and the shirts in the description and at the top of the pinned comment section. I said, if you grab their shirt, send a pic. And I, I know there's a lot more people who bought these shirts because I got the total count. Uh, send me a picture. Send it on Twitter. Send it on IG. Shoot, I might even give you all my emails to so send it to me because I want to. I got a collage going. This ain't the whole collage, but I posted this on Twitter today, right? These are all, uh, if you grab your shirt, send me a picture. Philly Dog's looking good. Get yours here. But look, Jesse, guy who helped create it, who actually, you know, took my ideas and put it down on a shirt. Shout out to Jesse. Uh, got Robert. You got, hey, my guy who was on uh, the Jan app with us, him and his wifey or his girlfriend, both rocking the Philly Dog shirt. You got my guy who just sent it to me today. I like the uh the Eagle Batman tattoo right there. Shout out to everybody who sent it in the last day or two. Couldn't put them all on the first one, so we got my guy Antonio Holmes. He's rocking the Philly Talk hat as well. My guy Bobinski, Chris, and G Pop. G Pop. Again, there's more. I again still didn't take the IG stuff. These are the people who sent me something via Twitter. Um, I didn't. Take the IG stuff. I still got to do that. But again, you can get yours. Link in the description. Drop the muscle emoji. You know how we do. Muscle up in the comment section if you got nothing else to say. Leave your thoughts on DeAndre Swift, OTAs. Uh, let me know how you feel about the next step. The next step for the Batmans, right? Again, let me know what you think. Do you think they're going to be worse? Similar or better? Again, I got a Devontae Smith as Vegeta. I'm a Vegeta fan. I know Goku always wins, but hey, sooner or later, Vegeta's going to get him. It might be in 2023. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I go by Philly Mike. This is the Philly Tall Podcast. We out. <laughs>